Hello everyone and welcome to part one of my Pokemon Red and Blue Let's Play. For those of you who are already subscribed to me or if you've seen my videos before, uh, you will know that I had a Pokemon Red and Blue Let's Play parts one and two already up on my channel, uh, but I decided to scratch those and start fresh uh, because I got a new microphone for one, uh, which is hopefully not killing your ears like the other one did, and also I got a new video editing program, so now I'm able to put a template uh, which has the original 151 Pokemon, which I found to be very fitting for this walkthrough. And also, you will be able to see my party at the bottom now, which is always an interesting feature. Uh, whenever I'm watching Let's Plays, I know I like to see that, so... Yeah, basically a bunch of upgrades, and we're starting fresh. Luckily, I only had two parts up before I wanted to start anew, so... Hopefully you guys don't mind. But, anyway, let's get started. Pokemon Red. I call the Pokemon uh, Red and Blue Let's Play because they're basically the same game, minus a couple of version exclusives and the color of the screen, but we're playing the original Game Boy version, so there is no color. This is Professor Oak. Hello there, welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Prof. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. You lucky bastard. First, what is your name? Um, I am going to go with a short form of my YouTube username. And I'll call myself Sil. Right, so your name is Sil. Why, yes it is. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Uh, what was his name again? Can you remember your damn grandson's name? Oh, like, honestly, come on. That's right, I remember now. His name is Blue. I'm gonna call him Blue, just to go with the original. Uh, I, I don't have any creative names for him. Sylph, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go! Let's just downsize here. We're just gonna casually shrink our body. You know, everyday thing. Um, now, a lot of people don't know this, but you can get a potion from the PC in your room right off the bat. Which is useful in the beginning of the game. As your Pokemon have really low HP. So it recover covers quite a lot. Now let's talk to our mom. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Professor Oak next door is looking for you. Let's go talk to a strange old man. That our mother is somehow perfectly okay with us talking to. Hey wait, don't go out. Let me do what I want to do, son. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. And now we're following the strange old man into his little house here. Or office. Or lab. Whatever you want to call it. Gramps, I'm fed up with raiding. Blue? Let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait. Here, self. There are three Pokemon here. I love how he just neglects his grandson. Here, here's, uh, here's Blue's resentment starting towards you right here. They're inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I only have three left. But you can have one. Choose. Hey, Gramps, what about me? Be patient, Blue. You can have one, too. Alright, so let's just look at all of them. Charmander, the lizard Pokemon, obviously prefers hot places. When it rains, steam is said to spout out from the tip of its tail. So, you want the fire Pokemon, Charmander? No. And here is Bulbasaur, the seed Pokemon. A strange seed was planted on its back at birth. The plant sprouts and grows with this Pokemon. So, you want the plant Pokemon, Bulbasaur? No. We are going to go with Squirtle for this walkthrough. Um, I may end up getting rid of him. I usually get rid of my starters when I play through games, uh, any Pokemon games, but we will see. I'll decide later. Uh, Charmander slash Charmeleon slash Charizard is really hard to start off with um, because, well, there's the rock and water gyms, which Charmander doesn't really fare well against. So, so this is Squirtle, the tiny turtle Pokemon. Creative. After birth, its back swells and hardens into a shell, powerfully sprays foam from its mouth. So, you want the water Pokemon Squirtle? Yes, I do. This Pokemon is really energetic. 
Mm, yes, I know what I'll call him. I'm gonna go with Skull Bash. It's a nickname I always use for Squirtle. I don't know why. And actually, interestingly enough, I started off with Squirtle on my first Pokemon Blue playthrough ever, which was my first video game ever, actually. And that was in 1998. I'll take this one then, and he's always, always gonna choose the one that is super effective against you, of course, so he get, picks the Bulbasaur in this case. And now we have to have an epic showdown. Wait, so let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Now this battle is pretty much uh, based on luck, because he can either continuously go for attacking moves, in which case he might outspeed you, um, or he can go for, I believe, with Bulbasaur, he'll go for the Growl. Um, but yeah, don't feel too bad if you lose this battle, essentially. Tackle. So we outsped him on the first turn. I think it might be a speed tie. Critical hit on the first turn. This is great. This is golden. See, this is what I mean. The, the HP is so low. The moves are not very powerful at all. Miss, critical hit. It, it's a very luck-oriented battle. But I think we have got this in the... <laughs> He just missed twice in a row. And we got a critical hit on our first one. I think we have this. Maybe. Just maybe. But yeah, if you do lose this first battle, it's very discouraging. You lose your first Pokemon battle. Ever. That's it. Level 6. We beat Blue. Now he hates us even more. What? Unbelievable! I picked the wrong Pokemon. And we get money. We steal money off of a 10-year-old. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Self, Gramps, smell you later. His classic line. So now we are ready to get set on our adventure. We are going to head into Route 1, where there are just Pidgey and Rattata, as you will see. There's a Pidgey. I'm not going to catch a Pidgey or a Rattata, I don't think. Uh, Pidgey is very useful. He's kind of that... Uh, typical bird starter that's always in the uh, first route of the game. And then Rattata is the typical kind of mouse-ish Pokemon. Comparable to uh, Sentret in Gold and Silver, uh, Zigzagoon in Ruby and Sapphire, Bidoof in Diamond and Pearl, etc., etc. Pidgey's good if you want to have a Pokemon that can learn Fly uh, as soon as you start the game. But you don't get Fly until after, I think, the fifth badge or so. Why am I going here? Naturally, I'm just going to heal my Pokemon. Oh, actually, you know what? I might have to. I don't remember if you get... Yeah, you do get it healed after the battle automatically. So we don't need to do that. So we'll go to the Pokemon Mart where the clerk will have a package for us that we have to bring back to Professor Oak. His order came in. Will you take it to him? Dun, 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 dun. Oak's parcel. Say hi to Professor Oak for me. Will do, sir. Will do. So now we are heading back to Pallet Town. The beginning of the game is always a little slow to pick up, but I promise you the next episode will be very interesting. Oh, we forgot to talk to this guy here. He also gives you a free potion. Please visit us in Viridian City. I know, I'll give you a sample. Potion. That's two. Now we will hopefully reveal the contents of this secret parcel that Oak has. And we'll take this rat tie out just to get a little bit more experience. Die! Okay, that didn't do much at all. Whoops. One more hit should do it. Yeah, I haven't uh, really set out what Pokemon I want to use. I know a couple that I'd like to use, um, but usually I end up switching my starter out because, I don't know, there's so many Pokemon in the game, and even more as you get on in the other games, since there's more and more Pokemon. There's too many Pokemon to use, so I end, end up kind of replacing uh, my starter. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What, you have something for me? 
We delivered Oak's parcel. <clears throat> now this is a curious thing. He says, ah, this is the custom Pokemon I ordered. Thank you. So, what would that be? Because in this game, there's a Pokeball, a Great Ball, Ultra Ball, and Master Ball. And the only Master Ball that we know of, it was like a prototype, and we actually get it later on in the game from the Sylph Company. Yes, that is where I got my name, by the way. Kind of. Um, it's based... <laughs> I'll go on a little rant here. It's based on Silk Spectre from Watchmen. Except I replaced the Silk with Sylph because I love the story behind Sylph uh, company in these games. So it's kind of cool and, and it works because there's the Sylph scope uh, that we use later on to kind of identify ghosts and Spectre means ghost. I don't know. It's very, it's very complicated and long but that's where it comes from if anyone was no, uh, wondering. Okay. Oak. Oh right. I have a request of you two. Yeah, so that custom Pokeball is kind of curious. I don't know what it is. On the desk there is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Self and Blue, take these with you. Self got the Pokédex from Oak, and this is what I don't understand. He has the first three starter Pokémon at least, and then in the anime we know a few of his other Pokémon that he had when he was a Pokémon trainer. Um, but the Pokédex is completely empty when you start off. Yet he says he's been trying to do this for, I don't know, his whole life. This is what he does. I plan to make a, poke a guide on all the Pokemon in the world. That was my dream. But I'm too old. I can't do it. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps. Leave it all to me. Sylph, I hate to say it, but I don't need you. I know. I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Sylph. Ha, ha, ha. Fuck you, Blue. I'm going right to your sister's house. Dun, 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 dun. And I'm gonna get myself a town map, no matter what it takes. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. So apparently, I got to your sister before you. Or you just didn't do what you were gonna say. I, th I think he's a liar. He's a straight up liar. And hence our rivalry. Besides the fact that Professor Oak treats us like gold and uh, doesn't even remember Blue's name, who's his own grandson. You know what? I somewhat sympathize for Blue. Just a bit. He is a jerk, but you know, he's, he seems to have had a rough time. His parents are nowhere to be found. He has a sister, we know that. Uh, and then his grandpa doesn't even remember his own name, so you know what? I'm gonna give him some credit there. But it's interesting what he says at the beginning. Uh, he said, Professor Oak seems to kind of want us to work together, uh, but Blue says, I can do this on my own, and then he just leaves. So it could have possibly, the story could have possibly been that we won't go out as a team, which would have been amazing. But I like the way the story ends up in the end anyway. Oh yes, by the way, I'm going to try and make these episodes about 15 to 20 minutes within that range. Although, if you guys comment in the comment section, then um, I will take those into account how long you want to be, the episodes to be. I, f I usually find 15 to 20 minutes is ideal because it's not too long and you can still get a good chunk of content in. Uh, and you can still get some things done. But if you guys want longer or maybe shorter... Um, then just let me know in the comments below, and I will take that into account. And also, I will be doing grinding off-screen, so any level grinding that I do, you may see my Pokemon's levels jump a bit uh, from episode to episode, and that's just because I've done grinding in between. Uh, but I will, I'll give you updates at the beginning of every episode. <clears throat> so now we are in Viridian City, and there's really not a whole lot to do here. Um, keep in mind, there's this route to the side here, and that would be to the west. Um, a lot of people don't visit that at the beginning of the game. They tend to just kind of go straight up here. Uh, so we will visit that, but we're going to level up a little bit before we do that. And over here is the Viridian Gym. Now this is something that intrigues everyone when they first play this game. Because the gym's doors are locked. And we don't return here for a very, very long time. So it's kind of an interesting story there. This man here will teach you how to catch Pokemon if you don't know how to catch Pokemon. But I think we can handle it. 
So now we are heading up towards the gate of Viridian City. Uh, sorry, of Viridian Forest, that is. And over here you can see there's some Pokeballs and some things we have to cut down, but we can't get over there yet. So this is the gate to Viridian Forest, right here. And I will cut this episode right off, right here. Um, I hope you guys like this little introductory video. As I said, it will get more entertaining starting right now. So I will see you guys next time. And make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. So you can get my videos on your homepage. And I will really appreciate that if you could do that. And I will see you guys next time when we take on Viridian Forest. And explore that route to the west of Viridian Fort, uh, City. Bye-bye.